Good morning guys, it's David here with Sheepdog Services in beautiful South Mississippi. Alright guys, today, like I said, I'm taking the Bobcat. I'm going to be using it to uh, knock out my commercial days. Uh, it's about 6 o'clock in the morning. Sun still ain't even up all the way yet. It is a beautiful sky, is it not? Anyway, I'm going to get some uh, footage of it. Probably not here just because there's not a good place to set up. And they'll start bringing in some ambulances here in a little bit for maintenance. And I don't want to be anything being in the way of them so uh i'm gonna catch y'all at the other other place and then some of the other residential places today all right hope y'all enjoy and uh let me know what y'all think about the bobcat all right I've been knocking them out pretty quick today. Uh, it's only 10.50 and I got this one. 
and one more to do and I'm done for the day. Um, just taking a quick little break, trying to get rehydrated. It's still, it's starting to get a little warm out there and I don't want to get overheated again. Uh, this house that I'm about to cut is literally right around the corner from the other one. So I like to give myself a little bit of time to cool off just a little bit. But uh, the Bobcat's killing it today, guys. Um, I've been mowing full speed and not because I just want to see if it can do it. It's just because it feels natural on it. And it's handled every bit of it. There's been, uh, I think maybe twice that I've had to go back and, and cut, recut something. And I don't know if it's because I'm, I just missed it or if it just didn't cut it. The, uh, the handles on it, the, the hydros on it, they're pretty sensitive. They're a, little, they're a lot more sensitive than, uh, than my, my Huskies. So that's something I'm having to get used to. But uh, other than that, that and the fact that the, uh, the, handle, the handles, they're a little bit too, too far down because whenever I go to uh, pick up the deck, my knee hits those handles. So I gotta nagle my foot around a little bit, kind of funky kind of way. So if I had one complaint about it, it would, be, it would simply be the uh, the height of the handles that are on it. And that's it though, but that's, that's very minute and not really a deal breaker. Um, I'm sitting here talking to y'all, but I'm looking in the rear view mirror, mirror at it, thinking if there's something else I can think of. But, man, I really can't think of anything negative to say about it. Other than the handlebars being too short and my knee hit hits it before I uh, I can hit, I can pick up the the deck. Uh, the seat is adjustable front and back, and I got it all the way back just in case some of you Bobcat guys out there are listening and didn't think I knew about it. But uh, um, yeah, the seat's all the way back. The seat's super comfortable too, by the way. Uh, Bobcat definitely did good on that. It's a really good seat very comfortable ride uh it holds 12 gallons and I don't, I don't i haven't even swapped the tank over yet and i've done seven yards i've done seven yards and i haven't even uh swapped the tank over and my yard my properties ain't small on on this day this is not my small property day this is all my large properties so All right, got refueled with some Powerade Zero Sugar. I mean, the wife's doing keto, so it has zero sugar and less than one gram of carbs. But anyway, that's not what we're talking about. Um, it's been it's been kicking butt, man. I'm I'm really I'm really liking the uh, the Bobcat, and the one that I want to get is a step up from it. And the only reason why I want to get it is because I think it has it has a few more different features on it that uh, I think will, will come in handy. But uh, this here, the one that I'm running today, if I was starting my business all over again, I'd go buy it. I'd definitely go buy it. That thing is, uh, that thing is solid. It is a rock. Uh, the deck is uh, seven gauge us steel so it ain't got none of that mixed in aluminum crap in there it's not stamped it's all welded uh i haven't hit anything with it so i don't know i have no doubt in my mind that the thing's tough but um yeah i like it i'm still going to try to demo the the v-ride 2 as well but if that if i can't get that to happen man this is where i'm going all right but with that being said i'm fixing to jump out here knock out this yard and i got one more i'm gonna call it a day guys all right y'all hang tight
guys. So that's the day of cutting with the uh, bobcat. Of course, it's done got laid. I done got home, got cleaned up. Everything's uh, put away. Let me know what you think about it. And if uh, you're local, if you're if you're down here in South on the Gulf Coast of Mississippi, and you're looking to to get a bobcat, go over to uh, see Jason on Pop Ferry, Ferry Road at uh, Southern Green Equipment. That's what I've been using for my Echo dealers. All my Echo stuff I've been getting from him. And uh, as soon as I told him I was interested in a uh, a bobcat, he literally pulled that one off the uh, the showroom floor. It had zero hours on it whenever I picked it up. And just tell me, take it, tell me what you think. Give me an honest, honest uh, review. If you like it, we'll talk about some numbers. If not, hey, you know, at least you know what you know. So he doesn't, he, he didn't try to push it on me or anything like that. And that's, that's what I like the most about him. He doesn't try to push stuff on you. But anyway, that Bobcat really, really impressed me. And yeah, it's going to be hard not to go with Bobcat now for him. Um, I still got, I still got some more videos uh, I did with it, and I put it through the ringer on one of, on, on this next video that I'm gonna put out. But uh, yeah, I'm really impressed with the way it handled uh, some really tall grass, like some ridiculously tall grass, like grass I sh you sh you sh you shouldn't be cutting anyway with a, a mower. I mean, it can do it. I've done it with the Husky. But uh, anyway, you'll see that video later. All right. If y'all like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, think about subscribing. Also, you know, I'm still going to put this in there. You know, I wear the uh, Isotunes. I got affiliate link down below. If you want to buy it through there, also, I get a little bit back from it. But, you know, if not, I completely understand. I'm still working. I'm going to reach out to some of the uh, other companies and see if we can't get some discount codes to help y'all out as well. So, I mean, it's not much of a kickback. And I would prefer to get that uh, that savings and pass it on to y'all because I know what I know what it's like as a owner-operator wanting to get some new stuff, wanting to get some cool things. And, you know, the prices are like, my goodness. But, you know, that's the cost of doing business. And if I can help save somebody something, then by all means. So, but that's 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 working in the future, you know. Um, yeah, anyway, hope y'all enjoyed it. All right, until next time, y'all take care.